Welcome back to Exotic Car Play Place. Thanks for joining in and today we have a special treat. Today we're gonna dive into 15 of my favorite cars available for 2021, largely new models or even strongly revised versions of something that just came in new from the end of 2020. You're going to love this. Forget about reliability. Forget about depreciation. Today is the love affair and it's the love affair about cars. Cars that I love and you'll love too because life's too short to drive boring cars. Let's get into it now. Welcome back to the channel everybody, Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. And so without further ado, I don't want to waste your time or mine and let's get right into the list. Number one, for me, my favorite car of 2021 is the BMW 4 Series. Now we know it came out in 2020, but there's some extra versions of that car now in 21. Originally it came out with the 440, which was a coupe. It came equipped with a turbo six cylinder engine that made about 382 horsepower and was slightly boosted by a 48 volt mini hybrid system and the car was immensely fast destroyed the outgoing m3 and m4 cars but in 2021 you can expect now a 430 version which is a 255 horsepower four-cylinder turbo engine and starts around forty six thousand dollars and what i'm really excited about is the actual brand new m4 which is starting to creep into dealer networks right now it has the same controversial grille, although the entire car is a little beefier and more aggressive, and it now has a revised turbo six-cylinder engine that makes closer to 500 horsepower and can be either configured with all-wheel or rear-wheel drive. Now the next car on my list is super exciting to talk about because I thought about buying one myself. Now while it's not necessarily the latest news, the brand new 2021 Toyota Supras are exciting for their own reasons. Now it's not brand new, after a long hiatus they came out with a BMW powered Toyota Supra which was a 6 cylinder turbocharged engine shoehorned out of essentially some of the mainstream BMW models. That car actually produced about 335 horsepower but lo and behold now you'll find the Supra comes equipped with a drastically boosted version of the same engine pried out of the same BMWs now has 382 horsepower in the 6 cylinder engine and as well has a two liter version available for about $43,000 to start with and makes about the same 255 horsepower as already previously mentioned in the 430 BMW. Zero to 60 time, 3.9 seconds for the three liter and about five seconds flat for the two liter. How's that for impressive? Very, very cool cars. So what kind of list would this be if I didn't include something from Italy? What we have next, and I have a real passion for, is the Alfa Romeo GTA. That's right, they took the Quadrifoglio and actually reboosted, retuned the 505 horsepower twin turbo V6, and it now makes 540 horsepower. It's also got on a drastic weight loss program and shaved over 200 pounds off of its original weight. These cars come with 20 inch center lock wheels. You know they mean business and they're ready for the track and it also has a track tuned suspension. Now if this seems appealing to you, you better hurry up and get your name on the list because there's only going to be about 500 produced for 2021. The next car on my list is a class favorite. I think everybody out there can appreciate it. It's very polarizing. Some people get on the wagon and believe it's not a well-made car and others just love it with an unbridled passion and that is the brand new Corvette. But while the Stingray isn't particularly new news, it's got the 495 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 engine. What is coming new is the Z06 or Z06, depends what part of the globe you're coming from. That car promises to have over 600 and even closer to 650 horsepower. I actually had some conversation with some folks from GM in behind the scenes and it sounded like it would be closer to 650 horse and there will likely be some level of hybrid or plug-in hybrid equipment associated with some of these future models. Promises to be an exceptional car. I'm definitely gonna look at getting my name on a list and hopefully by that time some of the bugs and issues have gone away. Now another amazing car on the list is the new Mercedes S-Class for 2021. Been waiting for this for quite some time, and if you're not a huge fan of video game style screen technology, then you probably won't like this car because it does have sort of almost a wrap around screen, a very panoramic feel to it. Lots of controls through touchscreen gestures versus the old conventional buttons and knobs. It also has an available augmented heads up display that will show cues that overlay your distance vision rather than the typical heads up display that you find in most vehicles. Now the beauty is it comes in many different engine configurations. You can expect AMD G versions, V12s, twin turbo V8s, but the base engine's a 429 horsepower inline six cylinder engine coupled with a mild hybrid system. Step up, you get that twin turbo V8 with another mild hybrid system producing over 500 horsepower. It promises to be full a 
of technology and takes Mercedes to a whole new place in the wide world of future thinking and technology. I can't wait to see the new S-Class. Another great car on the list I've been really looking forward to is the new Lexus IS. Now, unfortunately, Lexus have been playing it a little bit safe lately. The engines that you get in the new IS are the base IS300 that makes about 241 horsepower, made it up to an eight-speed auto, and merely rear-wheel drive. You can also step up to the optional all-wheel drive IS300 that can get you a three and a half liter V6 that makes 260 horsepower. But if you actually step up to the IS350, you can land yourself in a, with a V6 engine that makes 311 horsepower. Very brisk, but nonetheless playing it a little safe. With that said, Lexus has restyled slightly the exteriors a little fresher looking, the interior's a little cleaner, they have their new upgraded suite of safety technology. And the most exciting thing is now the suspension is finally a little more track tuned and not quite as soft and floaty as you'd expect from previous models. So another great car that I'm looking forward to will likely be seen more like the end of 21, possibly going to 2022, and it happens to be the new Nissan Z car. I look back into late 70s, I personally owned a 280ZX, Datsun, which is now Nissan, and I love the car. It's straight six engine, simplicity, made it to a manual gearbox, made it a very fun and engaging sports car. Many generations have gone by. Now Nissan is looking at refreshing this, likely to be named something along the lines of a 400Z, up from the 370Z that we previously knew and loved, and probably comes with the Infiniti Q60 engine, and will likely make around 400 horsepower. The beauty about this car is it will likely have a manual gearbox associated with it. And trust me when I say, as opposed to the Toyota Supra that kind of went the one way and went strictly automatic, this will be a breath of fresh air knowing that you can still grab a manual gearbox and row your own gears. Welcome the Nissan Z car. Now I'll be the first to admit that a lot of electric cars lack soul. They don't have the sound, the feel, you don't even smell the fuel exhaust. And honestly, they're kind of boring. If not a little bit quick accelerating, there's nothing else going for them from the performance standpoint. But this car does such an immense and amazing job of sucking you into the seat. The new Tesla Roadster for about $200,000 and a zero to 60 time of 1.9 seconds is guaranteed to light your shorts on fire. Did you realize it'll do 250 miles per hour and is also claimed to make 620 miles or about a thousand kilometers on a single charge. That's right, that's like driving from Edmonton, Alberta to Vancouver. That is a huge trip that you can make on one charge. Sure, the car isn't particularly inexpensive, but guaranteed it'll turn the heads and will keep everyone struggling to stay on your heels. Now a new car for this year, 2021, it actually came out later in 2020, and that is the brand new restyled, redesigned Jaguar F-Type R. And you ask, well, how is it so much different from the outgoing F-Type R? Well, the R is up 25 horsepower, so now the base R has similar power as the outgoing SVR. The headlights now are sleeker, redesigned. The rear splitter assembly is a little bit more aggressive and the suspension tuning is a lot better and promises to be more responsive. The exhaust tuning has been modified and the interior is updated slightly with a digital gauge cluster. The majority of the platform still remains the same, but that's true to the old adage, why fix what's not broken? The F-Type is likely still one of the best, most engaging and most exciting cars on the market today. And how can not be? With a 0-60 to 60 time of 3.4 seconds, it promises to get that heart pumping every single drive. Now another great car that I'm really excited to see is the brand new Mercedes E-Class All-Terrain. It's essentially a lifted touring car or wagon. It promises to have some plastic cladding and a nice stylized skid plate underneath so everything looks as it should on a Mercedes. It promises to be featured as an E450 and will be driven by a 3-liter 6-cylinder engine coupled to a mild hybrid system that promises to generate a combined horsepower output of just over 360 horsepower. So not only is the exterior an exciting new design, but the interior now features a 12 and a half inch driver display alongside a 12 and a half inch infotainment system display. Lots of video graphics in front of you, lots of great controls available. As well, it has an adaptive driver's seat, which finds the optimal position for you, the driver, in alignment with all of your controls. These cars are automation at their finest. Welcome to E-Class All-Terrain Benz. The next car is one that you've probably never heard of. Have you ever heard of the Lucid Air? It's a great new startup EV. Promises to make about 500 miles of cruising range. 
We'll do zero to 60 miles per hour in about two and a half seconds and we'll whack the 200 miles per hour top speed. Only really needed on the Autobahn, of course. It promises to have an immensely equipped interior with a multitude of screens, minimal number of buttons, and some of the richest, most top-notch materials known to mankind found in automobiles. Yes, I'm truly looking forward to seeing one of these in a showroom near you, and you should expect to see these later on in 2021. Now, another really cool car that I'm really excited about, and again, as I say, I'm not the most mesmerized by electric cars in general, but the new BMW i4 is another great choice on my list. It's, it's based on the current 4 Series BMW, but is purely, strictly an electric car. Promises to produce around 530 horsepower, and BMW claims it to be about a zero to 60 in about four second type of vehicle. I would expect that to be very conservative and thinking three seconds would more likely be what you'd see. Now remember, those are the kind of horsepower numbers you're currently seeing from some of the lower end twin turbo V8s out of the brand. So that's a pretty sizable output. As far as body design go, you're gonna expect that buck tooth design on the front end. And I wouldn't expect to see a coupe in this format. You'll likely see more of the grand coupe design or essentially a sedan. Welcome the BMW i4. Another great car that I've been really looking forward to and it's a bit of a sleeper. Not gonna lie, it's the Audi RS6 Avant. Very, very exciting car. It essentially looks like a wagon. So if your kid's being hassled by those kids at school saying that their Mustang is the hottest thing since sliced bread, like your kid show up in your new RS6 Avant. This car with 591 horsepower will launch from zero to 60 miles per hour in about three and a half seconds. It'll top out to 155 miles per hour only because it's limited and can be equipped with a $8,500 carbon ceramic brake design. These cars have the active air suspension, Audi's latest virtual cockpit, and a whole array of RS badging and decals. Now be prepared, it doesn't come cheap at $110,000. You better have a thick wallet. Now another car on my list doesn't necessarily seem like the most exotic machine. However, the brand new Honda Civic Type R Limited Edition can roast on a track many, many yesterday's supercars. These cars now have a very impressive 306 horsepower turbo four-cylinder engine. They really are track focused, albeit barely street legal. And you better like yellow because they only come in yellow and there's only about 600 produced for the US. Now the engineers at Honda took a chainsaw and shed some weight on this car. It lost about 18 pounds due to the BBS lightweight wheels and the massively grippy Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. And yes, the suspension has also been tuned to couple up well with that tire setup. The steering has also been recalibrated. And did you realize they ripped out a bunch of the sound deadening to save another 28.3 pounds? Yeah, I would expect it to be a little noisy on the street. Certainly a lot more track focused, but worth it in the end. And I have to show you one of my next favorites for 2021, and it is the Audi e-tron GT. This is largely sculpted from the Porsche Taycan, and it's a very coupe-like sedan, which is ultra sleek and extremely attractive from the roadside. Now there's an electric motor on each corner, and it produces about 582 horsepower, and it's good for a zero to 60 time of around 3.5 seconds. It's estimated to make about 250 miles on a full charge of range, and is chocked full of technology technology as almost everything today is. And also in line with all of the efforts for improving environmental standards, Audi has also elected to use yarn for the carpet, which essentially comes from recycled fish nets. Would you believe that? Regardless of all those little details, there's no question in my mind the e-tron GT will be an exceptional performer and a real eye catcher. Can't wait for the e-tron. Thanks for sticking around everyone. If you're ready to buy a new car, check out that video. It's gonna help you avoid some of the pitfalls and the tricks that dealers try to play on you. Hope to see you guys real soon. Catch you then, bye-bye.